Sometimes you have to make a decision that helps and hurts. I gave a discount. It's not the first time I've ever done it. Probably won't be the last time I'll ever do it, but I teach against it. I preach against it. If your price is $1,000 and you discount down to $900, $100 comes right out of profit. And in these times, profit is the only saving grace of business. My public seminar tickets sell for $149 each. If you buy 10 or more, they're $139 each. Or maybe it's $129. I forget. It's been that way for the past 10 years. Last week, we had a meeting of everyone in the public seminar department, and we decided that for one week, we would offer our customers a $20 per ticket discount. Never did it before. And even though we sold a lot of tickets, I took a lot of flack. People wrote me, emailed me, and called me, and called me out on the fact that I was giving a discount and going against my teachings. Not many people, but enough to ruffle my feathers, if you know what I mean. And it, it should be said that 10 times as many people thanked me and 50 times as many people bought tickets. But back to the discount. I agonized over whether I should do it or not, knowing that people were going to yank my chain about it. But this is how I made the final decision. The amount of money that we would lose was not going to make it or break it, and we're not going to make me or break me dollar-wise. In fact, by comparison to the rest of our income, it was a very, very low percentage. With the economy and the state that it's in, and many companies canceling their own sales meetings and not supporting their own salespeople the way they used to by paying for one of my tickets, I decided to make the offer directly to salespeople. My email magazine reaches more than 400,000 people. The preponderance of readers are traditional salesmen and saleswomen who pound the pavement and pound the sales phone lines to earn a living. I decided to take money out of my pocket and allow it to stay in their pocket so they might have an incentive to buy a ticket on their own without reimbursement from their boss, and many did. The dilemma was, do I try to help my fellow salesperson or hold my price and potentially preclude them from deciding to attend? The choice was easy. I decided to do it. I actually decided to try it. Well, the sale ended last Tuesday. We will have sold several hundred tickets to several hundred salespeople, many of whom sent personal thank you notes and emails of gratitude. Maybe I did go against my teaching, but I did not go against my customer. I also stated that this discount was for a limited time, one week. If you call here tomorrow and say, where's my discount, you won't get it and it will be removed from our website. And please keep in mind that this was not a, I have to do this discount. This was not a, th this was in fact, I want to do this discount. Yeah, maybe I'm justifying it, but I didn't do it to stay in business. Rather, I did it to promote goodwill and give more people an opportunity to attend a sales seminar that just might help them succeed through this economic mess. Big mess. How are your prices holding up? Think of offering a discount. Think of having a sale. Many companies are discounting out of desperation to make sales. Companies that sell cars or houses or furniture are examples of business in trouble that are seemingly forced to discount. I was not. I was creating my own stimulus package for my customers. And if, for whatever reason, you're going to offer your customers a lower price, the following guidelines will help ensure success and ensure customer loyalty. Number one, make certain that you can afford the discount. Number two, make certain that there's some profit for you after the discount. Number three, have a start date and an end date and do not go beyond the stated end date. Number four, have all promotion in the hands of all your customers electronically. Proactive email is the best. And 4.5, make certain that accounting is as involved as sales and marketing. In this economy, people have come to expect discounts and sales as part of the downturn and the slow, slow recovery. If you choose to offer one, make certain that your customer feels valued. Then you can, that you can back it up with service. And when the discount period is over, you have your goodwill intact.